Hi everyone, today I would like to discuss um, the, since my occupation is uh, education, special education, uh, I work with uh, special children with uh, behavior problems and issues and all that, so I will just introduce the idea of learned behavior. Uh, learned behavior is, any behavior could be that we learn how to, uh, what kind of behavior we will show based on what we see and how we experience the environment around us. Uh, the behavior could be, you know, of course, it, could, it has triggers and it could be a positive and it could be a negative uh, behavior. Now, in terms of the students that I dealt with, um, the most challenging students are usually the students with um, not the, the, I wouldn't say uh, it's usually students with a behavior issue that have conduct disorder and defiant oppositional disorder. Now conduct disorder is um, a next level. Conduct disorder is usually the behavior that results in a violence and fighting and uh, usually results in big um, fights and um, students usually um, always look to either bully or start bullying and they start the fights because their social emotional um, behavior and their emotional recognition of emotions is not really highly developed or not highly developed but rather it's build up a lot of frustration aggression that causes a lot of uh, problems if you look at the aggression, you'll see that aggression is could be perpetuated um, the environment at home, the peer pressure, the absolute lack of uh, structure, absolute lack of um, a consequences for the bad behavior. Now, in terms of a positional defiant disorder, a positional defiant disorder is when the student opposes you on many different challenges the authority opposes what you have to say they do not care what what you tell them and if you tell them you have to be very careful how you say to them to let's just say sit here rather than sit there and if you tell them that they will face the consequence they're going to start throwing stuff at you they're going to start fighting they're going to push one little uh, move or you could let's just say for example if you tell them uh, no you can play that you can use computer for that you have to use it for this they'll shut the computer they'll throw it down they'll come at you they'll challenge you they'll call your names um, defiant but it also it escalates to physical violence so defiance oppositional defiant disorder is a uh, also a lot of build-up also starts with a frustration he, there could be an environment that at home or uh, with peers that is not there's not good examples and or um, or the student creates such a uh, idea of themselves certain, certain identity that they create early on like starting from childhood early childhood uh, and that continues to develop and if that identity is not challenged I mean omnipotent that they, identity that is an aggressive and uh, extremely challenging and if that is not challenged early on and guided and uh, you don't bring the parents on board the oppositional defiant disorder it's going to develop to what I believe to conduct disorder but oppositional defiant disorder is um, a very uh, extremely difficult to deal with because as you can see oppositional defiant I mean you have two words that have similar meaning that are defined and usual usual uh, behavior there is they cannot take order they cannot take they have to be in charge um, and they're going to be in charge aggressively uh, they're going they're not passive they will they will have emotional outburst they will have emotional um, they'll scream they'll yell they'll 
uh, and then the, you will see them also have that emotional when they start to cry a lot because they try to figure out what what is going on like they don't understand I had one student who I asked them on a downtime and said can you help me figure out what's going on with you he said to me oh you know mr. O he says I'll let you know when I figure it out uh, so that's that's sad at the same time but it's extremely challenging because the student is aware of some stuff but most of it it's done now you also have to identify is the student student being defiant because he just doesn't want to learn is the student being defiant because there is something going on at home or is it the student being defiant just because he is he or she is um, in with the wrong crowd or wrong peers the peer pressure um, is the student or is the student have a disorder a birth disorder or genetic disorder or it could be the combination of all of it but as a teacher you have to see where the students coming from what the background is what is the circumstances are uh, is there a visitation schedule? Is there a, uh, does the father visit or is the father good role? Is the mother good role? Um, and all that. So there is a lot of uh, things that you have to look at. And also have to look at the cultural background of the student. How does that culture either diffuse or infuse the behavior that is usually uh, that we challenge? Uh, okay, well, this is about behavior and, and teaching and working with students that are extremely challenging. Um, I will discuss further uh, regarding this issue um, more because there's so much, there's techniques that you can use to handle these kinds of behaviors. Um, so I will post some suggestions that could be useful to use in classroom or outside a classroom or at home that you could that you can handle the children that have a behavior disorder all right that's all for right now thanks bye